हॅलो आय एम डॉक्टर सौरभ पटवर्धन फ्रॉम नंदादीप आय हॉस्पिटल अँड फेको ट्रेनिंग सेंटर सांगली इंडिया अँड इन दिस व्हिडिओ आय एल बी स्पीकिंग अबाउट अ केस विथ हायपर मॅच्युअर कॅट्रॅक्ट अँड द लिक्विफाईड कॉर्टेक्स अँड द कॅप्सूल वॉज लिटल फायब्रोज दिस सर्जरी वॉज स्टार्टेड बाय अ यंगर कलीग अँड लेट्स हॅव अ लुक हाऊ द सर्जन डिसाईड्स टू डील विथ दिस केस because it is a hypermature cataract and the surgeon has planned to use a cystitome two side port incisions were made small in size and one main incision was made as you can see here the angle between the main incision and the left side port incision is around 100 degrees and then the heavy viscoelastic agent hyaluronic was injected in the anterior chamber to flatten the capsule and once the nick is made on the entry capsule you can see the fluid coming out you can see some calcific kind of spots on the entry capsule already most of the epinucleus is liquefied and it uh, keeps coming this whitish fluid is dispersed using ovd and uh, this is not intubation cataract definitely as you can see that the uh, the capsule is in fact very flat here and uh, that was i would have advised the same that shift to a forceps rather than cystitome because cystitome requires good support from the ep nucleus if it is not there then cystitome will not be able to pro proceed with the capsular axis so better to use a forceps so here the surgeon is trying to do capsular axis using micro capsular axis forceps from the side port incision which is a smaller incision now in these cases where there is no intubation i would advise you can go from the main incision it improves the maneuverability of the capsular axis forceps and there is no uh, that risk of a capsular axis extension because the lens is not intubation one so the surgeon proceeds slowly but here the surgeon was feeling a little bit of resistance to the capsular axis so surgeon decided to put more ovd and again try to forward the axis but as you can see here that it's not tearing the capsular axis was not tearing so uh, the surgeon decides to go with his non dominant hand here and as you can see here there are trimmers that's because we are not used to use our non dominant hand and that's why all surgeons when they start surgery they should try and start using their left hand in day to day activities like brushing your teeth or writing with your left hand that will stabilize your left hand and in certain maneuvers like this you need ambidexterity little bit at least you should be able to perform the maneuver there so now the surgeon decides to go ahead with the main incision and because the surgeon is facing lot of resistance in this area and still the capsular axis age is not progressing so finally the surgeon decides to call me and have a look so i decided i go ahead and uh, try to push this capsular axis age and as i am pushing you can see it's not going ahead but rather pulling the bag itself so that means it is stuck somewhere and as i notice now here there is some fibrosis or uh, it's kind of subcapsular fibrosis small area which is there and unfortunately the capsular axis has stuck at the same place so now i know that uh, this is you can see it more clearly now that once i you know uh, try to nudge it around to check what it is exactly and then i decided that i will create a nick using vanas and then uh, go ahead with the capsular axis as you can see here uh, you can use micro capsular scissors also micro scissors for doing this and you can see now the capsular axis becomes easy because now there are no more fibrosed areas in the capsule and uh, we can complete the axis very easily Uh, it's a non intubation cataract again so usually it doesn't extend now in this particular case you can see the zonular integrity is quite good so that's a good 
plus point in this case and now I decided that because this is a kind of shrunken nucleus so I need to do some horizontal chops here that will be easier for me to tackle this nucleus so I decided to create my it's called Patwardhan's hybrid chopper and I can do use it for doing trench divide or even horizontal chop so first at 2 millimeter bend and then opposite way at 1 millimeter and this is a 1 millimeter Sinsky and which I am modifying into a kind of a hook or chopper I call it hybrid chopper Patwardhan's hybrid chopper because uh, it can be used for vertical chops as well as for horizontal chops as well as for just trench divide technique also so uh, here I decide to just bury a few holes in the center part of the nucleus though I know that I will not be able to do trench divide here because there is no support to the nucleus by the epinucleus or cortex but just to weaken the central part of the nucleus I am doing some creating some uh, areas of thinning I would say and then I bury and you look at my left hand how it just goes around the equator of the nucleus and just uh, breaks the nucleus into small half and again going hooking around the uh, equator of the nucleus and then just so because the nucleus is shrunken over here the horizontal chop is very easy because uh, your chopper can reach the equator of the nucleus very easily otherwise uh, if the nucleus is a large size then you need to be really skilled to do a horizontal chop and see how this uh, hook like uh, you know bending of the Sinsky makes it very easy to do the horizontal chop so that's the use of this hybrid chopper over here and uh, you can either order it or uh, ask some instrument manufacturer to create it or as I showed just order one millimeter Sinsky hook and bend it as per your need and beautifully once the nucleus is divided it is not a very hard nucleus but once it is divided you can just keep your feco tip at the center and uh, keep pushing your foot switch and the nuclear pieces will just vanish one by one and as you can see here that uh, this patient also has some corneal opacity in the center and this is followed by cortex wash there is hardly any cortex but there will be some amount of flimsy filaments of cortex over there so it's better to just wash them off and followed by IOL insertion in the bag and that uh, area of fibrosis you can leave it as it is but here I decided that I will just go ahead and uh, just remove that part as well uh, and uh, include it in part of rexis so that's the end of the surgery very well done and uh, you can see now how to tackle the area of fibrosis for more videos you can subscribe my youtube channel Saurabh Patwadhan Feco Tapes also there is one new exciting website which we have launched fecotraining.org.in there is also surgical video competition and videos of the month so do go and visit the website now Thank you so much.